In this patient, we observe a diffuse protruded mucosal pattern. For optimal visualization, we first rinse the gastric surface with water. To further highlight these protrusions, we suction some air from the stomach to reduce the wall tension. Moreover, we observe the antrum from a variety of angles, not just from the front. Protrusions in the lesser curvature of the antrum can appear indistinct. In this case, the sizes of protrusions differ dependent on the intragastric site. In the greater curvature at the antrum, protrusions are relatively small. On the other hand, at the anterior wall of the body, protrusions appear bigger. Using narrowband imaging, no abnormal microvascular architecture is apparent on the mucosal surface of the anterior wall of the body. Close to the antrum, the protrusions appear smaller, and the tops of protrusions appear as white spots. From a more distant view, white spots can be seen diffusely over the entire antrum. Using a close-up, no abnormal microvascular architecture is apparent at the protrusion. Now, back to the start with the white light mode. Edematous mucosa with erythema is apparent at the lesser curvature of the body. This finding suggests a pathology of active inflammation in the gastric epithelium. Close to the angulus, a small whitish area can be seen, representing atrophic change. Next, we use chromoendoscopy with indigocarmine dye spraying. First, we spray the indigocarmine over the entire antrum. Pooled indigocarmine in the gastric area. Furrows and grooves provide a clear plasticity of the protrusions. To confirm the diagnosis of nodular gastritis histologically, biopsies of the protrusions should be sampled. This is the histological workup. Hyperplasia of the lymphoid follicle is seen at the center of the biopsy specimen. Marked plasma cell and neutrophil infiltration is evident in the gastric epithelium. Numerous helicobacter pylori can also be seen on the gastric epithelium.